If you are looking forward to building a PC using a 13th gen Intel processor, then you better put the right motherboard to fit it because these are really powerful chips that come with certain requirements that need to be met. In that case, if you are confused between Z790 and B790 motherboards, then keep on watching. Are you struggling to explain your idea? Your audience is not getting what you're trying to say. An animated explainer video is a perfect solution for you. Explainer video simplifies any complex ideas through engaging animations, transitions, voiceovers, and meaningful scripts, which all together create a fun experience for any viewer. And here comes Ten Studio, a team of skilled professionals dedicated to creating engaging explainer videos. With over thousands completed projects, we have the expertise to create explainer videos that break down your message and connect with your audience. Get in touch with Ten Studio today. Let's take a look at the motherboard from the series, for example. At first, we have the Z790 Tai Chi from AS Rock. This is currently one of the high-end Z790 motherboards on the market, which supports both 13th and 12th gen Intel Core processors. It got a 24 plus 1 plus 2 phase power design. As a result, it can easily power up processors like the 13th Core i9. Not only that, but this board also includes two PCIe 5.0 slots and one PCIe 4.0 slots. What's even more impressive is you will find plenty of M2 slots, including one PCIe Gen 5 and up to four PCIe Gen 4 M2 sockets. On top of that, it provides multiple USB ports along with two Thunderbolt 4 ports. So yeah, if you're getting this motherboard in order to build a top-tier gaming PC, that can deliver the same level of performance in terms of productivity, then Z790 is indeed a great choice. Now if we compare it to any B760 motherboard, for example ROG Strix B760F gaming Wi-Fi, the difference is easily noticeable. It supports both 12th and 13th gen processors, and as we can see, it has fewer power stages, which are 16 plus 1 compared to the previous Z790 board. This explains the main power difference between these two motherboards. Besides that, it got one PCIe 5.0 slot, whereas Z790 boards such as Tai Chi have two. Additionally, it got dual-channel DDR5 memory support and has up to three PCIe 4.0 M2 sockets. Also, if you're not getting the Gen 5 M2 socket with B760 motherboards. As for the connectivity, it does provide multiple USB ports along with full Wi-Fi 6E and 2.5G Ethernet support, but it doesn't include any Thunderbolt 4 ports. As we can see, the Z790 Tai Chi is fully stacked when it comes to additional port support and other features such as dual PCIe 5.0 expansion slots, while the ROG Strix B760F gaming Wi-Fi lacks some of them, including only one PCIe 5.0 expansion slot. In the end, these are the key differences that separates the Intel Z790 motherboard from the B760 series. In short, Z790 is made for high-end PCs that will give access to gaming and productivity seamlessly. Also, the thermal protection here is superior, as it provides the maximum overclocking potential for the Intel 13th gen processors. In comparison, B760 boards are made for casual users whose top priority is only gaming. This series is not recommended for overclocking as it comes with fewer power phases. And talking about the price, the gap between these two series is huge. The Z790 Tai Chi costs $532, while the ROG Strix B760F gaming Wi-Fi, which is understandable, because with the Z790 board, you can build a PC that is capable of doing both hardcore gaming and productivity tasks. On the other hand, B760 boards are mainly recommended for gaming and minimal workload. So that was all about the difference between the Z790 versus B760 motherboards. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and comment below to let us know your thoughts. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.